My name is Steve, and you're watching the Mr. Big Kid channel. So before we get started, if you haven't had a chance yet, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon for getting notified when I make new videos. Anyways, how many of you have a Facebook account, and when you're you know, scrolling through your feed and everything, um, you get an ad? from wish.com. The most random stuff you could ever think of in amazingly cheap prices. Now, no, I, I'm not being paid by Wish and no one asked me to do this video. I'm just excited about what I got. Did you know wish.com sells body armor? I didn't, but now I do. And I waited my uh, three, four weeks shipping, paid a little bit of money, and I mean a little bit, compared to like current body armor prices, it's really cheap. What I got, boom. All right, I know it's nothing crazy. It's kind of goofy looking with all the attachments on it. This was actually separate. The plate carrier, I want to say it was like 20 bucks. Don't quote me on that yet. We'll go over those specs in a little bit. But we got plate carrier and on plate carrier. A level three plate. Hi, buddy. We got a level three plate. It's thin, it's light. It has kind of like a light foam coating and some kind of a fabric cover. I don't know how bulletproof this is. I hope it's bulletproof because for the 35 bucks I think I paid for it, I mean, you're talking about pretty much a vest with, with level three bulletproof, which I think means uh, it'll stop up to a 7.62 by 39. Don't know for sure. We'll look it up right now on the computer too. But, plate carrier, 30 something bucks. Sorry, plate, 30 something bucks. Plate carrier, 20 bucks. Under 60 bucks, maybe 70 with shipping. You got a bulletproof vest. Now, we're gonna test this thing out. I intend to destroy this plate because I want to. I mean, and but if it holds up to what it should hold up to, I'm gonna buy more because that's a great deal. And, but should we trust our life with cheap body armor? Let's look up some of this stuff and then Let's take it out to the desert and put this to the real test. Before we get started, again, or before we, before, before we go, she's repaired, and you know what? She's been an awesome assistant. I've, you know, she had a really rough first day, if you guys watched that, you know, me shooting $10,000 video kind of thing. Um, she was pissed off about it, but we made some repairs, she's good. Um, I painted her entire front white so we can see if there's any damage uh, when we shoot her next. But don't worry, you got cheap Chinese armor now. She has cheap Chinese armor. She'll be okay. Like this, you get a little pouch in the back and it wraps around the side and that's not bad. I, I, I wouldn't wear it. I have a different plate carrier. But come on, that's really, really cheap. All right, well, here's the uh, vest I bought. It's a U.S. Army military tactical vest, anti-stab, hard self-defense clothing, bulletproof tactical vest. 100% new high quality color, as the picture shows. Camouflage, thin selection. Material is a hard alloy steel, wearable Oxford cloth, liner, cushioning material, stab resistant material, stab resistant material, hard alloy steel, high quality, high mang, after 16 1000 C quenching and refining, has a strong anti-thorn ability. Size, one size can adjustable the shoulder and waist. Hear that, you guys? It's okay, because you can always just adjustable the shoulder and waist. Protection level 24 joules of kinetic energy. Stab area is 0 0.3 square meters. The uses are anti-dagger, three-langued knife, machete, and other weapons. Using the environment, the dagger attack, protection. Terrorist attacks protect, protection, protect the body away from harm. Extra material, ultra-high molecular weight, polyurethane fiber felt can be folded. Package one times the tactical vest. That's a mouthful. But you know what sucks is that now that I look back at this order, this is not the vest I bought. I did not get this vest, which is the one that I bought. So that's kind of a bummer. But you know what? It's okay because it can get destroyed anyways. So future notes to self. If you shop at Wish, there's a good chance you're not going to get what you actually ordered. All right. And here's the part that I'm really excited about. This is the actual bulletproof steel plate. So here it is, here's, a, here's what it's called. One piece, 2.3 millimeter, 25 by 30 centimeter, bulletproof steel plate, light bulletproof panel for tactical vest insert steel panel. All right, it's pretty cool. This does look like what I ordered. Um, has that same kind of cover, does not say strike face on it. Here we go. Model numbers, 2.3 mil, 
Model number is a 2.3 millimeter steel plate. Brand name, Solly. Weight is 1.4 kilos. Protective area is a 250 times 300 millimeter. Thickness is 2.3 millimeter. Performance against 79 submachine gun. Whoa. Bulletproof level is NIJ3. That means it's um, bulletproof up to a 7.62 by 39 millimeter. Color is black. Usage, improve bulletproof performance for body armor. Um, okay. Material is bulletproof steel. So, I mean, you know, they have AR-550, they have AR-500. This is actually made with bulletproof steel. That's got to be like the best steel for making things bulletproof, I would think. Ship from China. Package, pearl wool bubble pack craft paper box. All right. All right, enough of this. Let's go shoot it. There's Bala, Bala, our assistant, and um, well, we're gonna start. So what I'm starting with right now is the Walter P22 Tactical, new style, and I'm shooting some 35 grain CCI Mini Mags. I'm gonna shoot it right at her torso. Let's give it a shot. There's the bullet hole right here. Let's take this off. Whoop. There's the hit. You can see it kind of hit this fabric, but it didn't really even dent the steel plate in it. That's good. That means so far it's 22 proof. Let's move up. Let's try the uh, 380 next. All right, here's the hit right here. Let's see how it looks. All right, again, it kind of smushed. You can see the uh, bullet fragments right here. It smushed up the little rubber, but there's not even a dent on the steel plate. All right, 380 proof plate. Let's move up to a nine millimeter, 115 grain. Well, next, we are using the CZ SP01 Shadow with 115 grain FMJ. 9 millimeter rounds. Let's see how this works. Oh, there's the hit. All right, so we got a little dent on the plate right here. It definitely is a lot more damage than the 380, but it gave a little dent on the metal. And of course, the this fabric and coating is all messed up, but the back is a little dimpled. Oh no, we're gonna try 45 ACP right now. We're gonna be using the Colt Officers Mark IV. Uh, this is a 45 ACP. I'm shooting a 230 grain uh, Winchester Ranger hollow point. Let's do it. Nah, no, don't you move. You tell that hit with a little more force. Yeah, that uh, she fell. Ah. some fragments of lead well, this is where it hit looks like it kind of hit right over the same spot as the oh nope that's where it hit right here it stopped it really well um, yeah all right we're gonna move on to the AR-15 next shooting the 223 all right so far it stops all the common pistol rounds so now we're gonna move on to the rifles uh, we're gonna start with the AR-15 my home belt uh, it's a 55 grain full metal jacket I'm gonna shoot a little higher this time. I'm not sighted in for this close. There we go. Right in the. Ah! There we go. Right in the... Look at that. 
my AR-15 punched two holes through her like nothing. I'm gonna skip the 7.62, but I think we're gonna go right to a slug and just hit it straight in the middle. We'll see if it stops the one ounce shotgun slug. Well, sadly, the plate did not stop the 55 grain 5.56, but last but not least, I do have a one ounce slug, uh, 12 gauge, and I'm gonna be shooting it out of my Stoger M3K. So, let's see if the plate will stop a shotgun slug. Right in the center. Oh, come on. I told you to stand still. Right in the center. Oh, come on. Oh, she's she's fine. She's fine. Oh yeah. That's where your slug hit. And this is where it came out. So you need more repairs.